there's quite a bit that I could share about myself, uh, but what I'm really passionate about, which is why we're here today, is the work that I've been doing as uh, the co-chief ambassador alongside Nemri Chandi and the successful woman. So who I am is a woman who's passionate about empowering other women to realise that they can create the life and the lifestyle of their dreams. So my career has been a very varied one. I started as an architect, a designer and a builder. I'm currently the general manager of a very successful non-bank finance business here in Australia. We do about one and a half billion dollars worth of home loans per year and I lead a very busy team in that role. And uh, I also just released my first book, Mind Body Spaces, which is uh, on Amazon. And that is uh, helping people understand how the buildings and the homes and the spaces that we live in affect our health, wealth, and well being. So, my career has been a very varied career um, across many different things, but ultimately it's around helping people, whether that be with their finances, whether that be with their homes, or whether it be helping to empower women get to the next level of their success. Mm -hmm. Very great. How did you manage to switch over or go into the different careers and still your career graph is always, you know, going high? Yeah. Um, well, I love variety. I think that's probably my greatest asset and my greatest skill is that I'm, I'm, I'm good at lots of things and I'm a creative person. So to me, the processes that I've learned about project planning, creating things, manifesting in life, you can create them in different arenas. So whether it be creating a new marketing campaign for the finance company or whether it be putting together a seminar presentation to help women grow, the process is the same. Um, and so I've been able to apply my skills widely across different areas. And in fact, it's the fact that I do have this variety in life that gives me the unique vantage point of how I see things. So for many years, uh, I had very separate streams running in parallel and, and now it's, it's really all part of, of one journey. And I think every person has their unique genius or their unique gift in the world. And mine is a variety of this combination of corporate business skills, design skills, mentoring skills. Um, but in truth, I use all of this toolkit across the different modalities every day. Very nice. This book of yours, please tell more about that. Sure. So uh, Mind Body Spaces is in three parts, um, as there is in the title. And so what the book does is it goes through 20 plus years of my life experience of being a designer, an architect, understanding feng shui, other parts of building biology and running businesses. And it, it goes on to explain how everything is created in the mind first. So if you want to understand something about your life, it's actually reflected in the space that we live in. And just like people, we attract homes, we attract offices into our life, and they all have a lesson to teach us. And so for people who are trying to move forward in their life, then you can see the patterns and you can release the patterns within the spaces that you live in. So that's the first part of, about understanding the mind. The second part, understanding the body, is looking at specific things like electromagnetic fields, the effect of mould, scientifically measured things within the scope of building biology that can affect your health. And then, of course, if your health is being affected, it also affects your relationships. It can affect your wealth if you're not able to work, if you're tired, if you're fatigued. So a lot of people that I meet... Um, you know, might just be suffering headaches, dizziness, general fatigue, but in fact, there's actually some toxicity in the place that they're living that is affecting their health. And so the, the middle part of the book is, is about that. It's about the body. And the final part is about spaces, which is really about creating your bliss. It's about finding your purpose in life. It's about, you know, 
manifesting what you want on a bigger scale. And it's about how you can do that and, and how you can do that by working with the spaces in which you live. So there's the saying mind, body, soul. Well, mine is mind, body, spaces because the physical places that we live in are a reflection of the vibrations which we are creating by. And so it's a fantastic book. It's got some exercises in there, lots of stories. Um, it's got obviously scientific research. So it's got a little bit of everything for everyone, whether it be about increasing your wealth, having a look at your health, or just getting a different perspective on your mindset. Mind Body Spaces is a great book for everyone. I think you must have relieved your 20 years of life while writing this book. Yes, I did. <laughs> this book is a compilation of my 20 years of, of experience around spaces. Yes, it is. <laughs> so what are the different challenges you face today also? Though you are having a successful career, successful book, what are the challenges you face? Today also. Sure. Um, so obviously I participate in different businesses that are operating at different levels. So the Successful Woman launched 12 months ago at the beginning of COVID. Uh, and in fact, we were due to do events in India. Uh, so we launched a business as a startup business in the middle of COVID. But it's been an incredible experience. We've got um, many thousands of followers now. We're on our second uh, level of our program offering. And we've got a fantastic suite of products in which we mentor women. So a startup business has different challenges to a mature business. So the finance business, uh, I've been around for 20 years. It's a very seasoned business. It's in a different um, uh, part of its growth trajectory. It's expanding as the group, there's actually four companies in the group expand. So, so the challenges in that business are very different to the challenges in the startup business. Um, and then obviously for me, I'm still developing my own skills. So I've, I learned to launch a podcast this year. I've been doing more video editing. I've been learning about putting together seminars and webinars. So the challenges for me are to continue growing. Um, I love learning. I love growing. I'm very, very hands-on. So the challenges for me on a day-to-day -day range widely from, you know, being the person really at the core of a startup business that's got just a lot of work to get done through to leading a huge team that might have, you know, cultural shifts, management um, issues that I need to address. So the challenges for me are very varied depending on which company I'm in. And, you know, one of the other challenges for me is really thinking about, okay, what's going to be my second book? And I think the second book is going to be around prosperity and wealth and, and how that relates to spaces. So, yeah, I've, I've got lots of different balls in the air, um, but that's the spice of life and it keeps you alive. And, you know, I, I enjoy it and it keeps me growing. <laughs>